Hello everybody! This is Dreaming We're back to kick off round two for Group D of my tournament. And yes, we got three matches for you to look forward to. Starting off with a big game at the bottom between Gypsy Danger and the Champions team. Then we'll have Ultimate Dino Queen taking on the Thunderstorm. And then we will conclude with Gakko taking on El Gazi. So without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which I think will be a big one. Right, Leo then. As for Gypsy Danger in the red corner, we got a Rugox. Rugops is kind of kind of uh, didn't happen for the Rugops against Terry in its first matchup against Gazi. It didn't really quite happen for Gypsy Danger overall in that matchup, but I suspect they'll fare a lot better this time. Alrighty then, in the blue corner, we have the Sejuangosaurus, the champion of the Wicked Wind Tournament. And on its journey to become the champion of that tournament, it did defeat the Rugops. Will history repeat itself? Or will the Rugops get some sweet revenge? I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've said it many times. I, I absolutely love Rugops' design. That's so cool. Ooh, coolness getting the first hit. It's a power drain. You know what that means? It's button spamming time. Ah, not too bad, not too bad. Not my finest effort, but not the worst. Dino Illusion getting triggered there, but a good start from Gypsy Danger. Oh, that's a tie. No Sonic Blast, though. Ties do favour the Rugots, because again, it has the Sonic Blast. And I believe it's tie defence type as well. But look at this, the Dino Illusion being used up there. This is just the start, but Gypsy Danger won't it. Another tie. No Sonic Blast, though. Ooh, the Sejuanosaurus getting off that hit. Lillian Cure imminent as well. Champions team fighting back. And actually, overall, I'd say it's pretty even now. Even though it feels like Gypsy Danger has got off more hits. Oh, that's a tie. Still no Sonic Blast. Sonic Blast activated right away. <laughs> Not this time, though. Not this time. Ooh, the Champions team turning it around. Getting off a crit and a cyclone. Sajwangasaurus reminding us all how he won the Wicked Wind Tournament. Ooh, but the Rugox does get off a hit there. Wow, this has been a really even start. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered, so I would say that the Champions team does have the slight advantage. Or does it? Oh, no, the Rugops died. <laughs> I thought the Rugops would survive that tie, but it didn't. Right, the O then. As for Gypsy Danger's second dino, we have an Abelosaurus. Again, it didn't quite happen for Abelosaurus. It kind of died to Terry relatively quickly. But I suspect it will fare a lot better this time, and it will have the type advantage over the Sejuanosaurus, so it shouldn't take too much of a beating if the Champions team gets off any hits. And well, a tie will pretty much end it, and a tie will be pretty convenient for Gypsy Danger here. Play getting around that Dino Illusion. Well, he gets the hit. Probably would have preferred a tie, to be honest, just again to play around that Dino Illusion. Now, he does leave the door open for Sejuanosaurus to possibly get a hit. Oh, and it does! It's a crit! But again, you know, because of the type advantage, the Abelosaurus will not take it much damage. And the Magma Blaster has been triggered. Oh, but it's not getting it off! And the Sejuanosaurus gets off a Lillian Cure as well, which means it'll take more than a tie to kill it. Oh, and it won't even get killed by a tie now because of the Cyclone. Oh, it's a tie! But again, the Cyclone allowing the Sejuangosaurus to attack. Look at this from the Champions team all of a sudden. From an even start, the Champions team turning the screw. Well, I, I don't think this was expected. A 2-0 lead looks imminent for the Champions team. Sejuangosaurus, the purple pest, finally taken down. 
Ooh, and a bit of a recovery as well. Abelosaurus is going to need that recovery because it took a big beat in from the Sejuangosaurus. All right, then, as for Champions Team Second Dino, we got Armadus. Yeah, about time for this cap. Armadus, the recent champion of the Earthshakers tournament. Looking to shake things up for Gypsy Danger. But can this Ablesaurus get Gypsy Danger back in the match? Ooh, it does get off ahead. Gypsy Danger, a bit stuttery there in that sticky patch, but coming back into it. Definitely coming back into it, getting off another hit there. And I think it's pretty much leveled things up. Ooh, but the Armatus does get off a hit here. And it's a triple headbutt. Oh, God, get me buttons ready. Boosh! Busting the ankles of the Ablosaurus. And bruising the ribcage while they're... Ooh, and some poison as well. And the Ablosaurus is going to get the slap about by the Gallimimus. Oh, there's the poison. Oh, it's a tie. Ablesaurus biting the big one. And the champion's team has a 2-1 lead. Alrighty then. As for Gypsy Danger's third diner, we have the Ampelosaurus. His Ampelosaurus put up a decent fight against Gauzy in the first matchup. Just left, just had too much to do. Sky, cut me down. Can this Amplosaurus get Gypsy Danger back in this match? Ooh, it does get the hit. And I believe it's an atomic bomb. Not the um, most ideal move to use on Amplosaurus, but there it is. Yeah, it's, be it's better to use Neck Crusher on it. Oh, it's a rock roller! Oh, this is going to do damage. Big, big damage coming Ampelosaurus's way. How costly could this be? The champion's team getting off a cheeky crit. Oh, not too much damage. Well, the galley rush is going to add a bit of damage. And in fact, it's going to guarantee that the champion's team will be getting points in this match. Well, Armatus going down, but it definitely left a mark on the Ampelosaurus. And the Futaba Cannon is kind of wasted. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Mm, splishy, splishy, splash. Alrighty then. As for the champion team's third diner, we have the champion of the Gracious Grass Tournament, the Parasaurolophus. The health tank herself. I still can't believe it tanked a hit from that Nodosaurus. Not just a hit, a crit. And it had like a sliver of health left. Amazing. Although it did have two defense bursts, and its defense type, and it had the type advantage, so several factors re resulted in that outcome. Just rock. Ooh. Gypsy Danger not defeated yet. Getting off a hit, but yeah, look at that. Parasaurolophus is a tank. It's a literal tank. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will probably favour the Parasaurolophus now. Because it does have more health left. Oh, that's another tie. Gypsy Danger can't afford too many of those. Ooh, but he can afford this hit. An atomic bomb. Boosh. A shockwave would be really helpful right now. Speak of the devil. Shockwave here. Has Gypsy Danger scored a come from behind win? Well, he's got a good opportunity here because the worst that can happen to him is a tie. So he will be going rock. Oh, it's a tie! Look at this, going down to the wire. Oh, 
Gypsy team just done it. A come from behind win against the champions team. Ampelosaurus pulling its weight. And Gypsy Danger getting a big three points there against the champions team. You know what? I feel like he deserves that win. He deserves that win. Didn't happen for him in the first match against Gozzi, but it definitely happened for him this time. But oof. I bet he I bet he was bet he was nervous during that matchup. But yeah, it's a good it's a good win there for Gypsy Danger and getting himself off the mark in this tournament. Of course, the champions team will get a losing bonus point. So they will also be off the mark as well. So yep, yeah, that is match numero uno done. On to our second matchup, which sees Ultima Dino Queen taking on the Thunderstorm. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Ultima Dino Queen, we got a Eutoraptor. Eutoraptor's definitely a staple for Team Queen. And this Eutoraptor definitely did some damage in her first matchup. I'm sure it will do well in this matchup, but we'll just have to see, won't we? Alright then, as for the Thunderstorm in the blue corner, we have a Pentaceratops. Oof, how many times have I said Pentaceratops today? <laughs> I literally just finished recording Group C and there's probably two of these buggers in that in that group. I think there's two, might be actually three. Pentaceratops, man! This will be interesting because both of these two, I'm sure, will have aspirations of reaching the same, well, basically going to the final. Ultimate Dino Queen has come close pretty much every time, and every time seems to fall just short. But the Thunderstorm, who used to be Monolith OG in the, pre in the um, tournament before the last one, got all the way to the final, only to be defeated by moi. Dino Illusion getting triggered there, that will help the Uteraptor. Well, speaking of Dino Illusion, there is the Dino Illusion. Thunderstorm off to a decent start here. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, it's a crit from the Penta. And I think... Oh, okay, this has killed the Uteraptor. Yeah, this is Lightning Axe. So, the Uteraptor is dead. We knew a crucial Lightning Axe there. Given the Thunderstorm a 1-0 lead over Ultimate Dino Queen. However, as for our Queen as for our Queen's second Dino, we have an Anata Titan. This Anata Titan didn't see too much play last time. I should point out Ultimate Dino Queen did kinda get out of jail against Gecko in the first matchup, because as I said, if Gecko got the Death Fire off, then Gecko would have won that match. So yeah, I'd say Queen won the first matchup, but wasn't overly convincing. If I say, if I gotta say. And, well, definitely not been convincing so far. Another crit from the Penta. Ooh, an attack boost as well. Increasing the damage the Pentaceratops is gonna do. But, the Anata Titan gets the hit. Ultimate Dino Queen finally striking back. Ooh, and a Fawn Whip as well. Can Ultimate Dino Queen come back into this? Well, that was a good hit there, a crucial hit there from the Anata Titan. Oh, that's a tie. I think... No, it doesn't. No green impulse, so the Anata Titan does not get an advantage. In well, it is tie recovery type, I suppose. Another attack burst there from the Penta. Look at this. The Thunderstorm on the brink of a 2-0 lead. But a 2-0 lead is not what he's going to have. Instead, the Pentaceratops is going to bite the dust, and Ultimate Dino Queen is going to come back into this match. <laughs> However, Mono the Thunderstorm will have the type advantage here with this Mega Raptor. This Mega Raptor is lethal type, so if that Mayfly activates, it's going to rip a Nata Titan a new one. <laughs> Oh, I got away with words, haven't I? So yeah, Ultimate Dino Queen still in a bit of a pickle here, but slowly coming back into it. Ooh, gets off a crit, but again, with a tight disadvantage, which doesn't apply here because the scissors move is not a win move. 
Fawn Whip again. Good hit there from Ultima Diamond Queen. Good. That was actually good damage there. I think it's because none of the wind moves have been triggered, so the type advantage didn't matter for the Mega Raptor. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, the tie recovery coming into play there. Probably allowing another Titan to tank another two ties before it dies. There's another tie. I tell you what. Ultima Dino Queen coming back into this match. Another Thorn Whip. Look at this. Wow, three Thorn Whips, but not one Nature's Blessing. Like, it is in the moveset, isn't it? I, I forget people's movesets, so right? Give me a break. And all of a sudden, Ultima Dino Queen in the lead. Well, I, I, I take back what I said earlier, saying that she hasn't been convincing. She's been convincing in this matchup. Coming back into it and now having the type advantage over this Nodosaurus. Of course, I don't know if it ma I don't think it matters at this point. Unless you're not a Titan get off a cheeky hit. Yeah, it does have nature's blasting. Oh, it's getting off another crit! Well, this will do some damage. Ah, not this time. No fawn whip this time. Okay, finally the Anata Titan's going down, but it definitely pulled its weight there. And it's given Ultima Dino Queen this this slight lead. Alright, now for the real showstopper for Team Queen. The Eokarkiri. With armor, of course. Quite the powerhouse, this Eokarkiri. The Magma Blaster and the Flare and the um, Burning Dash there. And, and it has Flare Sword because every Eokarkiria has to have Flare Sword. Except for Yamazanadu's Eokarkiria, which is a crime against humanity. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. That bar is filling up, but I don't think we're going to see Omega Armor, to be honest. Unless we get, like, all ties. Ooh, the Nodosaurus getting a hit there. It's a Rock Roller. This is going to do some damage to Eokarkiria. The Thunderstorm not defeated yet. Defense boost coming in handy there. But I think a Burning Dash and a Magma Blaster will still kill the Nodosaurus. Well, we're going to find out. It's Magma Blaster time. Has Ultima Dino Queen won this match? The answer to that is yes. Ultima Dino Queen doing it the hard way. Coming from behind to defeat the Thunderstorm. But the Thunderstorm will get a losing bonus point for their efforts because the Eokarkaria was below half health. So, you know, they kind of deserve that. But uh, that's the least they deserve. They put up a really good fight and... We're on top, right? We're, was on top for quite a bit of that matchup. But the Anata Titan enabled Queen to turn the screw. But yeah. Good matchup there. Good matchup there. Queen, more, a lot more convincing this time. But yeah, definitely making it close. So yeah, yeah that's match two done. Let's move on to match three, which is our final match of this video. Which sees LP Gozzi going up against Gecko. Alright then, in the red corner for Gecko, we got a Mega Raptor. Gecko could count themselves very unfortunate in their first matchup against Ultimate Diamond Queen. I feel like they did enough to win that matchup, but unfortunately for them, they didn't. But yes, it's, this could be an interesting matchup. Because the Mega Raptor will have the tight disadvantage against this Terry. And yes, I'm letting the animation play so I can get a so when I do the thumbnail I'll get a good screenshot of Terry's head, like I did last time. And yes, in the blue corner, for Alpy Gossy, we got Terry. Using Mr. Z of course, because mainly because I used it. <laughs> uh, yes, this Terry was quite beastly last time. And yes, we're sticking with the reform type. Interesting thing about this matchup, both of our combatants have death fire. Elpy Gozzi has it on his Terry, and Gecko has it on their Gorgo. 
So I'll be intrigued if... So I wouldn't be surprised if Death Fat... If we see a Death Fire this matchup. Ooh, that's a tie. No heat eruption from Terry, though. Another tie. Ties. I'd say again, because of the heat eruption, ties do favour Terry. And you're about to find out why. There's the heat eruption from Terry. How about a little heat eruption? Oh, bad lag, bad lag, bad lag. Stupid fire dinosaur. I should ban fire dinosaurs from my phone. Honestly, they just lag the emulator to death. But all right, good start from Elfie Gozzi again. Started really strong last time against Gypsy Danger. And it's looking good again so far today. Um, well, Megarapper's dead. No surprise here. In comes a burning dash. LP Gozzi racing into a 1-0 lead again. Megaraptor had never seen such bullshit before. <laughs> Alright then, as for Gecko's second dino, we got an Alpha Gorgosaurus. This Alpha Gorgosaurus, definite wild child for Team Gecko. And, hopefully, for Gecko's sake, we will get to see that Death Fire, which we should have seen last time, but we didn't. Ooh, we got a clash of Tyrannosaurs here, as Terry takes on its cousin. Its basic cousin. Oh, that's another tie. No heat eruption this time, no. <laughs> My voice went high then. And Gecko finally getting a hit. In comes the tie bomb as well. But, will Deathfire get triggered? Oh, it won't. Ooh, that does give Gecko an opening. Can they take advantage? Oh, it's a tie. Ooh, this will be interesting. I think the tie bomb will still go off, but the heat eruption is going to chip away at that Gorgo's health. Oh, there comes the laggy volcano. Boosh, 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 boosh. Burning Dash will get triggered as well. Yeah, the tie bomb does explode even when heat eruption gets activated. Good for Gecko there. Not good for Gecko though. It's a burning dash. And Terry yet again giving Gozzy a 2-0 lead. Wow, can anyone stop Terry at this form? Showing real form this Terry. Well, I suspect Gecko's third dino will because it is a water dinosaur. Basically, when you face Gozzy, if you don't have a water dinosaur in your team, Terry's going to sweep you 3-0. <laughs> this is the moral of the tournament. This Patagosaurus is going to have to work. Well, it's got a lot of work to do, but a saving grace is that it will have the type advantage over Terry, and it will have the type advantage over Gozzy's second dinosaur. If Gecko can get some hits, they're not out of this yet. Oh, Terry getting a hit though, but again, type advantage, yeah, look at that, type advantage there, paying off. Oh, another hit from Terry! Oh my god, is Gossie going to win 3-0? This is unheard of. Um, okay, that's a tie. Alright, nope, he's not going to win 3-0, but... But it looks likely that Gozzy will win this match, taking over half of the Patagosaurus's health, meaning that Gozzy will guarantee himself a losing bonus point. But let's be honest, I think he's not going to lose this match now. <laughs> Alright, the second dino is Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. It does have the dino stuffer. So yeah, even a crit from the Patagosaurus will make no difference. But unless it gets off two crits, then it will make a difference. Wow, can I have some of Gozzy's luck in my to in my matches? I can do with so well. I'm not doing too bad. Actually. Oh, it's a tie. Another tie. Will Gecko get a hit? The answer to that is probably no. Yep, Alpha Acrocanthosaurus mopping up. And well, let's let's be honest. Terry did all the work there. <laughs> And yet again is another bonus point win for El Gozzi. And that will put him top of Group D. And in fact, I might actually already put him through. 
I'll have to double check. But yeah, eight, eight points should be enough to get him through. I mean, keyword should. I'd probably say he's about 60% through now. You know, there's still a good chance he could like, lose the last three games and get knocked out. Because, you know, it's a tournament, isn't it? Group stage, anything can happen. But yeah, let's have a look at the table and then I'll end the session. Well, I don't know if anyone anticipated this kind of Group D looking like this so far. We have LP Gozzi up top with two bonus point wins. A 100% winning record so far on eight points. Ultima Dino Queen in second on six points. The Thunderstorm in third on four points. And then Gypsy Danger in fourth on three points, getting their opening open in getting their first win of the tournament. And then we have the Gecko and the Champions team rooted to the bottom on one point. But yeah, Group D definitely tightening up. But yeah, I probably say definitely these two. One win away for these two, and they'll pretty much guarantee their place in the last 32. Uh, let's see who's playing in round three. So yes. Ooh. Good chance for Queen here. Yeah. It'll be Champions Team going up against Ultima Dino Queen in round three. And then, ooh, a big match at the top between the Thunderstorm and LP Gozzi. And then we'll have an equally important game at the bottom between Gecko and Gypsy Danger. Still up to play for in Group D. But yeah, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss out on any group stage matches of this tournament in the coming days and until then this is stranger gamer signing out <laughs>